What is up everyone? That's a Squirtle. I'm Boss said no. And welcome to Pokemon Blue version. So I figured let's make a let's play. And what better game to start with than Blue version? It's my first Pokemon game and it really takes me back to that the good old days, the childhood days in the world of Pokemon. So this is Oak, we all know him, Pokemon Professor, it's a profession, profession, excuse me, inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. Yeah, for some reason people are pets to Pokemon, to myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. Alright, time to learn how to read. Now what is my name? Well. There's only one boss. That's me. Right, so your name is Boss. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were babies. What do babies fight over? Your rivals. Alright. You spend all your time with your Pokemon that you don't remember his name. So we're just gonna call him Blue. That's right, I remember now his name is Blue. What if I'm lying to you? What if his name is George? Or Alec? Or Mark? Who knows? But, legend's about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures and turn small! Alright, we're small. Alright, wow, we're in the second floor. I call it that because this is not really a room if you think about it. It's the perimeter of his house. There's a lot of negative space. Someone just threw in a desk, a computer, some video games, plant, and a bed. And this is so selfish, because where does his mom sleep? I know everyone's thinking, oh, his mom sleeps in the same bed as him. But no, because that bed is so tiny, I bet he barely fits in it. Like, watch. Stand next to it. Okay, he maybe fits in it. But that's not the point. They could easily put another bed and maybe even a bathroom up here. Because there's no bathrooms either. But enough with the fourth wall. Let's play Pokemon. Right, all boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Professor Oak next door is looking for you. Go find him, boy. Yep, all boys leave home. But now when they're 10 years old, so time to make a dangerous decision. Oh. Hey, wait, don't go out! Stop! It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. Well, way to go! If you noticed the second I stepped foot in the grass, why didn't you stop me before I stepped foot in it? I could have got mauled by a Rattata. Good job, Professor Oak. Good job. That's why I don't remember your grandson's name. Alright, make up for it. Give me something cool. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting, boy. Blue, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Your boss, there are three Pokemon here, and I love you better than my grandson, so why don't you pick first? They're inside those Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I have only three left. But you can have one. Shoes. Alright, so if these are the only three Pokemon you had from your whole Pokemon career, I bet I'm about to get a maxed out Pokemon. But nope, they're level five. What to start with? What to start with? Easy. The one. The only. Charmander. It's said to spout from the tip of its tail. Yeah, that's why you don't read the end first. I'm picking you. For sure. Nope. I actually want... Bulbasaur. The salad Pokemon. Its strange seed was planted on its back at birth. The plant sprouts and grows with this Pokemon. Also used for salad making. Of course I want salad. Keep me, keep me healthy. Nope. There we go. That's more like it. The one. The only. The tiny turtle himself, Squirtle. Let's pick you, buddy. So you want the water Pokemon, Squirtle. Well, yes, that even a question. This is my first Pokemon I actually ever picked. Alright, boss received a Squirtle. Do you want to give a nickname to Squirtle? Well, yes. Yes, I do. And what other name is more fitting than... 
Boss. Wait a minute. My name is Boss, so he can't be Boss. So, since he's a Pokemon, but he's also a Boss, we will call him... Whoops. We will call him... Boss Mon. There we go. Sounds almost like a Jamaican name. Boss Mon. See, Blue's upset because I took the Squirtle, and anyone would be upset because that's the best one to pick. So, he decided he's just gonna get Salad Mon instead. I wish you could nickname his Pokemon for him, but it would still be Salad Mon. Ooh, he'll take me on. Blue is by far the coolest theme music ever. And all this 8 bit glory. Alright, he wants to fight. Bring it on. Send out the salad, and I send out the water. Alright, take a tail whip. I'm gonna, I'm gonna one hit you. Alright, one more how to do it. Alright, boom! Take a tackle to the face. What? That's all it did? I did three turns of Tail Whip. And now it's only worth two. Whatever, I'm a Squirtle. I'll win. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the match. Yeah, I defeated you. I picked the wrong Pokemon. Yeah, you did. Should've got Squirtle. Too bad your grandfather let me pick first. Because he loves me better. So make him fight, toughen it up, and smell me. Smell me later. I study Pokemon as Professor Oak's aide. Professor Oak is the authority on Pokemon. Many people. Okay. All right, Pal Town. Blue's house. Boss's house. And the lab. I'm guessing that all these people live in the lab because there are two floors and. I'm guessing that's where my mom sleeps too, because there's only one bed here. In fact, I don't even think I don't even think Blue has a bed. He doesn't have it upstairs. Yep, they all they all sleep in the lab except for me. Because I'm a cool kid. Ooh. You know, I feel like Pokemon in the first generation were so much chubbier. And I think that's a good thing. Because now they're Anorexic, bulimic, skinny, skinny bones. Like, be, be honest with yourself, which Pidgey would you rather have in real life? The big fluffy Pidgey or the... Haven't eaten for two days, water and salty and cracker diet Pidgey. Because I know which one I'm picking. Wow, Oak wasn't kidding. They're everywhere. It's Angry Rat Mon. Out of my way, boy. So, I think I'm gonna speed up non-essential battles from now on because I feel like it could get pretty slow pretty fast, especially in the caves. Psst, hey you, I got drugs. Cause really think about it, he works at the Pokemon Mart so I just trust him what he's gonna give me. That's like me walking up on the side of the road, seeing some guy standing there and be like, hey, kid come over here, I work at Target down the street. 
That's some weed. It just doesn't validate itself just because you work somewhere. Alright, we made it. The one and only Viridian City. Now, I don't think I'm going to skip with the space bar during battles because it's going to get all trippy in the sound system, so I might just edit them out. I'll probably end up buying Repel soon anyways, and I'll just drain off screen. Alright, thank you, Nurse Joy. Have fun being trapped behind there forever. Hey, buddy. You can use that PC in the corner. It's like the Apple Store. Except don't leave your Facebook up, because they will they'll say mean things. Oh, good thing you left the space for me. You can't go through here. This is private property. No, it's not. It's the main road. Who's even... Are you saying that to me? Oh, Grandpa, don't be so mean. Oh, he was saying it to me. He hasn't had his coffee yet. You know, in the Japanese versions of... of uh, Red and green, he's actually passed out because he's drunk, but that's a bad message for children, so he's just on the ground because this is his road. Alright, whatever. We'll just go to the Pokemart. Hey, you came from Palatown? You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Will you take it to him? I got Oak's parcel. Now, funny story about that, because when I was little and I first played the game, I couldn't read too well, so I thought it said parsley. So I thought, you know, he's gonna make tabbouleh with it. For those of you who are familiar with Lebanese food. But alright, let's get down there. Oh, probably should have taken the ledges. Whatever, we need the, the training. Another thing that's weird about the first game is, I think Gust is a normal type move, which makes no sense, because there's nothing normal about Scribbles. They should have called it Scribble. Like Scribble Knots. Alright. Grass is for, for weenies. Sweet home. Let's talk to our buddy. Actually, you know what? I know you guys all did this. Boom, you're talking to me. You take orders from me. I'm the boss. How is my old Pokemon? It seems to like you a lot. Yeah, of course it does. It must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. I don't know about that. But I have some parsley. I'm gonna start making my food. This is the custom Pokeball I ordered. What are you gonna do with the custom Pokeball? You're ahead of your time, buddy. You're ahead of your time. That's some diamond and pearl shit. Alright, I have a request. For you two. To do. There's my invention. Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. No biggie. I made it myself. Blossom Blue. Take these with you. Ooh, I got the poke. It's still on the table. Okay, now it's not. That's weird. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. But I'm too old, and I can't do it. So I want you to fulfill my dream for me. Lazy. I know you're lazy. Get moving, you two. It's a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Yeah, because you just gave... Potentially all powerful super weapons to two ten year old boys just because you were bored. Oh, now he's trash talking me. He doesn't need me. He'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell him not to lend you one. And what's up with Nintendo games and borrowing things indefinitely? Same thing happens in Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Because she's never getting that telescope back. But, will we get the town map? Will we not? Will we just walk here forever like that NPC? I don't know. Find out next time. 
on Pokemon Blue. See you later.